Well, here we are again. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new here. We have a fun day planned ahead, so I hope you enjoy this video. Here's Joel trying to work on taking the screws right out. Put a shelf like right here. Ish. Yeah, right there. Put a little door right here for Luke to walk through and him and his brother can do brother stuff. Yeah, because his closet links to this one over here. Or we're going to make it link to it. We ripped up the carpet, which looked nasty like it. We had some termite damage that we had to care of. Um, well, I mean, we treated the house. Yeah. It wasn't really that bad over there. They just got in there and were making trails. They're making nasty trails. We're also considering there's a closet in the living room, which is what this here is. Considering moving it over to that side. Yeah. So, so we could move to there and then there'd be a TV put here with like whatever else we decide. It's either that or we put the TV in that corner or on this wall and get like an L shaped couch that goes over here by the window. We haven't decided what we want to do yet. So that's a thought for that room. There's all the baseboards and trim we pulled all the nails out of. And are we going to get a new window? Do you think? Um, I don't really like these ones a whole lot. Yeah. We'd have to get a... the nicest window in the whole house. As far as condition. But... I don't know what to do. Probably not going to be a thing that we're going to mess with right now. The screen's in all the windows of this house. You can't take out. You have to bust them out if you want to clean the other side of the window. <laughs> it was a pain. Yeah, they all didn't fit right. Once we uh, get a drywall sander, we're going to sand all the walls. And then if the texture comes off by sanding, great. If not, then we're going to have to skim coat everything. And then re-sand and then Put the, the low spots on the ceiling. Yeah, just move it all out and sand it. And yeah, I don't know if ready for paint. There we go. We can kind of see the texturing. The nasty texturing on this wall. It wouldn't be so bad if it was just like, you know, even. But it's like really, it's like smooth here, really rough here. And it's just all over the place. Very sloppy job. And there's a crack there that needs to be fixed. Yeah. So it'll be a beautiful room once we're done with it. I think it's going to be the baby's room for a little while. Oh. You alright? Yeah. Nice butt. Huh? Nice butt. Yeah, nice spot. Speaking of cracks. Ah! There's yours. <laughs> Luke, are you gonna help us with this room? Yeah. Oh, good. Um, anybody want to enter in a giveaway for this fancy thing? <laughs> Five dollars gets you an entry. Five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars buy some merchandise. <laughs> well, here we are the next day. Um, we're gonna be working on moving this shed out here. So this gravel up and we're gonna try to move it from here to there. Yeah we're gonna put it right over here in this corner. So it's out of the way. And we're gonna build a shop here eventually. Yep. Plan. That's where the shop's going. Yep. Should we do a time lapse? us cleaning and moving and stuff? Sure. And 
before we move this thing here, we've got to clean out all this stuff here. We have accumulated. It wasn't this bad. It fell over. And I bought tires and then I bought some other tires. Yeah, some other tires. Some other tires. Too many tires. Yeah. And wheels. And mowers and. There's no mowers in here. Oh, four wheelers. Four -wheeler. Junky four wheelers. Oh, and all those are tires over there and wheels. Wow. That's crazy stuff. Yeah. We'll have to get it all cleaned out. Yeah. to get old faithful out of the shed hopefully she don't run over Joe Bob <laughs> see I knew she wouldn't roll that far what is that I bet you this thing will start you want to try We'd have to jump it. The battery's dead? The battery's dead, finally. But the fuel pump, it's got enough power for the fuel pump to get done. Oh yeah, I hear it. I don't want to start. Well, it's been a, a little over a year since we got this thing. It was October of last year. I remember us going to get it, that was fun. Yeah. Look at all those rivets. Look at the hubs. Yeah. They're like welded on. They're welded on? Oh well. <laughs> Look right here. Well, well, that's cracked. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. It is an aftermarket shock, which is cool. Look at this. Look at what? There's this nut. Well, they did on there too. Oh wow, it's <laughs> really welded on there. <sighs> Crazy. Why did we get this thing? Because it was cheap and it had a clean title. How to have a clean title? Looks like they got it ran over a few times. I don't know why it had a clean title that did. The only reason I bought it. Otherwise, that'd have been like this thing looks like it was stolen. It needs pretty much everything. Yeah. But the engine's good, isn't it? It starts. Mm -hmm. Starts and sounds good. It takes a little bit. It smokes just a little bit. One funny thing about this place is we have this neighbor that claims to be an Indian. We heard he's not really. He kind of likes to spy around. And Snoop around our place. He's, he's kind of nosy. He was watching us out his window. <laughs> That's weird. One day, Rusty was barking in the morning. It wasn't even that early. <laughs> and uh, I was going to the door to yell at him to make him stop. And that neighbor beat him to it. He yelled, shut up. <laughs> Rusty goes back in his doghouse, and I was like, hmm, I guess I don't have to tell my dog to stop barking because my neighbor will do it. Now that the shed is empty, Joel had to bolt these boards between the shed support beams so he would have something secure to anchor to with the winch as he moves the shed. 
And I was so bummed this was the only footage we got of moving the shed because I had to go to the store when Joel decided to move it. This is when I came home and Joel was working on jacking the shed back up because it rolled off of the post he put under it to winch it along. Yeah, we've got a major issue because back here, for some reason, the ground doesn't like to dry out. So when he pulled on this, and what, it slid off of those posts? Yeah. yeah. Went down in the ground. Had to dig out this hole to fit the jack under there. Say hi, YouTube land. I need a nap. Well, we got the shed moved. Um, Joel went ahead and put those cinder blocks underneath the shed. Um, he still needs to put the ramp on it. And then the plan is to cut off the bottom portion of the shed where it's all rotted. And he's going to... I can't remember what he said he's going to put there to replace that, but it'll look a lot better. Well, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can follow along our journey.